Kevin, Kate. Hi. Terrific to, to speak to this uh, Hollywood po power couple here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what we like to call ourselves. That's what so we call each other thank around you our for house. Acknowledging yeah. that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrific. Well, anyways, hey, congratulations for uh, this uh, wonderful film, um, Rollers, for the both of you. Thanks so much. So uh, what initially attracted to both of you uh, to uh, be, be in this film? Um, I would say for me, um, I loved, uh, I, I just, I loved how Jane was written. I loved her heart and her struggle and the dichotomy of somebody who is um, on one hand loves doing her art and loves being a musician, but on the other hand, kind of wants a little bit more in her life. I think that that's like a really well-rounded character. I also love that um, Jane was written uh, not like the answer to Rufus's problem, mm -hmm. which I think is kind of sometimes happens a lot with female characters in, um, in movies. And um, she just seemed like a whole person. Um, and plus, I got to dye my hair and smoke cigarettes and drink fake beer. I mean, come on, you got to love that. Yeah, I would say uh, for playing Donnie, it was it was it felt like a, like a Bill Murray and Tootsie type situation <laughs> where it's like this guy's in his own movie and is on the periphery, which I think was my reference when I met with Isaiah. Um, and also, it was fun to like uh, like be in a band with my wife. Like, that was <laughs> a family band that yeah, wasn't embarrassing. That was not life. the Partridge family. It was <laughs> it was cool to like have that that kind of experience. Also, really liked the script a lot, and just kind of the, it was something that we had been talking about a lot. And I think that is something that you go through in your early thirties of this transition period, uh, specifically with an artistic career of like, do you want to keep pursuing this? And when is your art a burden? There were some really cool themes that he was writing about the things that we were talking about over the dinner table anyway. So yeah, um, yeah it was cool to cathartically um, explore those. How, how often uh, do you two uh, be in this, you know, same project or the same film, um, something like this? How, how often does that come across your table? Huh? you know it doesn't often come across it doesn't often happen when we aren't producing it yeah <laughs> we've done a lot of work together uh we have a production company together so we've done a lot of um sketch and and, and things like that and we're we're actually doing a short film we're shooting it this summer that mm -hmm. we're both in together but um as far as like something that we did not make that we are in, it's very rare. Yeah, I'd, I'd say the other time, like maybe if, if one of us is on a project and where you can recommend the other, be like, you know, I have a spouse that can act. <laughs> if we're looking for some kind of, yeah, like there was, I think uh, I did a show called Sirens and she oh, did yeah. a guest star, right. uh, which was crazy enough because we'd gotten married in Chicago that week. And then I was like, my wife can be in this. <laughs> we, we spent our honeymoon on set together. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which was very fun. Um, and, you know, uh, I wouldn't call it relaxing. So we're used but... to it to a, to a degree. It's, it is funny, though, when you go home and you, you have dinner and everything, and then you talk about, talk about your day and you talk about work and you're talking about the same work. Yeah. <laughs> which is, feels very rare. <laughs> Well, I guess that's a perfect honeymoon to uh, be on the set of Sirens in the, in the Pacific Northwest. I guess yeah. that's exactly. beautiful as anywhere. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. What, what, what's it, uh, in, in a project like this, because, uh, because you, you, you two are, are together in real life, but in, in a film like this, uh, you two are playing two different characters' relationship to, uh, to Rufus. What, was that kind of odd, or is that just, you know, just a professional, uh, you know, act? I think it's both. Like, it's kind of weird when she has a kissing scene and you're like, oh, cool. Oh, wait, it's not with me. Um, <laughs> but, uh, which, you know, Johnny Ray is great and everything, but like, it was just kind of, that's just weird for us. Uh, or when you're in a scene and you're like, oh, I'm not supposed to have a romantic connection. Yeah, you gotta shut that down. Yeah. But I also think that like Kevin and I, we met in college and we started mm -hmm. out as just like buddies. So we can very easily fall back into buddy land. Yep. And so we definitely just you know hanging out and just shooting stuff I mean that definitely the professionalism comes first in that regard yeah, so yeah. we just have fun yeah, yeah. It, it was just fun to be able to spend time together and like be in a family band and <laughs> uh and and just like you know hang out I yeah. mean it was really fun <laughs> so how 
so both of you, your characters have a certain relationship with Rufus, with uh, Johnny Ray Gill. Did you both have a different approach on developing chemistry with uh, Johnny Ray? Yeah, I mean, Johnny's first off just a really nice guy. So uh, then there was some downtime before and there was a lot of hangout before in which we kind of really got to know each other. Um, I'd, I'd say with Johnny it was, uh, uh, and Rufus, like my connection and Donnie's connection to it was all kind of play and fun. And um, my scenes were just kind of sometimes improvisational and Isaiah tried to keep a lot of like high energy and everything. Whereas it seems like yours were a little bit different. Yeah, I would say that um, our conversations, I, I would say that with Jane, Rufus feels like he can be a little bit more honest and a little bit more vulnerable. So I think that um, Johnny Ray and I got to spend time actually having like real conversations and kind of deeper conversations while also keeping, I mean, their relationship on screen is so fun and playful and all of that. So we still got to kind of like hang out drink a beer and yeah, uh yeah. you know and like tease each other and stuff so I, I think that that kind of informed both of our relationships just basically the whole movie is so playful and so fun and you, I think you can tell we're having fun while we're shooting it yeah I, I I could totally tell you guys had fun especially with that tricycle scene that was fun okay yeah, that those, was a part those were real beers those like, were real beers. yeah at that point, it was like, well, we're not wrapped. We should just keep shooting. Let's just but get out the tricycle. We'll pop you know? open a real one, and yeah. We'll That's a party. Once the, the tricycle comes around. out, it's yeah. a party. Start playing instruments. It was <laughs> wild. That was that was fun, yeah. We were burning down. <laughs> Kevin, I've seen you in so many uh, fun, funny, uh, funny, funny stuff. Does comedy come naturally for you? Um, no. No, <laughs> says my wife. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I think about it all the time. So I, I don't think so. I think that there, it's like, if I start to be cocky and be like, I'm pretty funny. And then you meet like someone who is really funny or like someone, like we have someone on, uh, on uh, a show that I'm on or something. Like we had uh, on Sirens, we had Lenny Clark. You could think you were funny and then Lenny Clark would get on set and you're like, oh my God. Or like Andy Kindler or something. They're like people who are compulsively funny. <laughs> um, I, I like my alone time a little bit more than somebody who's just like, I need to be funny right now. <laughs> um, so no, I don't know if it comes necessarily na as naturally to me. It would be a more fun answer if I said yes. <laughs> well, I think he, but he, what he's saying too is that he's also a total comedy nerd. So yes. basically he's just stealing from everybody. Yeah, right. Just right. stealing all of the comedy gems. All I do is, yeah, so then it doesn't come natural because all I'm doing is absorbing it constantly and watching it and nerding out for it. Um, but yeah, I know, and I I'm so happy to work on them because they're they're really fun. They're weirdly like, and I've done some horror too. I feel like comedy is I'm, I'm having more. It's more lighthearted on horror sets than it is on comedy or something or dramas too, because it's like you're so like serious about the joke and like, did it work? Is this going to be funny? <laughs> Especially when you're not doing multicams, so you're like, how do we know? if the joke's working, what's going on. So it's like weirdly serious. <laughs> but yeah, I, I absolutely love working on those. <laughs> Kate, your character has so much drinking involved. You talk about uh, drinking, you know, fake beer. And how are you as a drinking buddy in real life? Oh, I, I would say excellent. Um, she is. I would say probably really excellent good. would be what I, the She's word really I would good. go with there. If I'm really being honest, not an alcoholic, not an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, yeah. not no, pre no, 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 no. Very serious. People should be responsible. However, I can definitely have a few drinks. Oh yeah, yeah. I think you two, like the like, if we go and hang out with somebody, um, specifically uh, like a woman for a female friend uh -huh. of yours, and mm -hmm. you, if she gets, you go drink for drink, and she gets wasted. And I'm you not, don't, okay. you're pretty judgmental. Yes. <laughs> one, two things you should know about me. Yeah. I like to drink and I'm judgmental. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> you see, out. she was wasted after like two whiskeys. Like, She's it, yeah. crazy. Yeah, she yeah. had like half a bottle. And she yeah, was yeah. Just come on, wasted. get it together. Give me a break. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Chicago though. So mm -hmm. you're, it's kind of in your blood that you know how to hang. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So I, I'd say, I'd say I'm, I'm not, I'm not too shabby. Right. We crushed a beer before this interview. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> It's super early. We did not. We did not. <laughs> it's coffee. It's just only coffee. trying to make it sound like alcohol. There we go. Kevin, 
one of the things I was actually curious because in a couple of scenes, you lost your shirt. Why? <laughs> a great idea. I think Isaiah just wanted me naked. Um, I feel like everything that I'm that I'm in recently, that shirt's been coming off. Um, I upload this season. Spoiler alert! I'm like shirtless in every other. Well, you're nude. A nude, yeah. A I would say just too. straight up. I don't nude. know, man. Yeah, it just comes off. Maybe it is me. Maybe it is my my subconscious choice of taking that shirt off. When he gets nervous about his comedy ability, he just takes a shirt off, and everybody goes like, "All yeah. right." Well, yeah, this will do something. <laughs> <laughs> this will do something. <laughs> Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think uh, you'll hear any complaints from Kate. So that is really fun. <laughs> well, let, let me wrap it up uh, with uh, one, one more question because obviously we, the, the most wonderful scene is the jam session between you two. Um, could you talk about uh, developing uh, you know, that, that jam session? Do you really play instrument and sing or what, what, what's going on? Okay, well, it's so, okay. So I play guitar and then Kate plays some piano um, uh, uh, she did not know bass, so I had to teach her top string on the whole thing yeah. to do it. And it was a little, it was just a little progression that I wrote and yeah. lyrics and everything. And so yeah. we were, we were doing that. It was a true, true family band. It was my favorite part. Um. I had such a good time. Kate, it was kind of a nightmare for Kate because she was just like, this is, I don't want this to suck. Yeah, so I, I'm too much of a, of a perfectionist when it comes to those things. And as not a musician, it I wanted to do it justice because there are so many incredible female musicians out there and I just wanted to do a good job. Oh, yeah. It's a little high pressure. So high fun. pressure situation. So but. fun. You had a great time. <laughs> you pulled it out. <laughs> well, you know what? This is terrific. I, I love speaking to, uh, to you two, um, the power couple here. And yeah. also, there we go. Love hearing it. <laughs> So hopefully we get to do this again on your on your next projects. This, this is terrific. We, we hope so. You. Yeah, we thanks for you. thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you. Next time. Bye now. Yeah.